This one was a huge breakthrough for me. So I was so frustrated and I wanted to like take a chainsaw to it or smash it or throw it or oh, I just had this, I just had to get it out. Whatever it was, I had to get it out. So I just got a huge amount of paint off my palette and I just went, wham! And this whole like huge tube of white paint just went like splat right on the canvas. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I destroyed the painting. I had literally like probably 150 milliliters, a whole, to, a large tube of toothpaste that just went like a softball right in the middle of the face. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. I was just like, and I'm like, so I grabbed another palette knife and I just pushed it right into the eye socket and moved the paint around. And then the paintings started becoming three-dimensional. And so that point of that accident was actually an opportunity to push myself even further. And that got really kind of, that got really kind of dangerous for me because I own an art supply store. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally have, I, I, so the technique of just slashing the paint out of frustration kind of built and it started from a, a point of frustration to an actual technique to becoming really something quite, quite liberating. It, you know, um, it's a terrible way to put it, but okay. At the beginning, I was so frustrated and I was trying to release so much emotion and I was trying to push through you know like sometimes when you don't have the tools you want to like to express yourself you get so angry and frustrated you want to punch a wall or something and you but so I I was just like I, I needed to break through I needed to go over and and have more release so I initially went over and did that huge softball of paint. And then I was able to kind of harness that energy and develop it to become a technique where I could literally like take two colors or three colors off my palette. I could start working these slashes, these liberations of, of paint that communicated what I needed it to and there's a huge risk with it because if something kind of sometimes as an artist when you're you you love a certain part of a painting you've done something you're like oh I love that that really works technically I like but when you're have such abandonment and such kind of uh you're just creatively in that zone, you can destroy a painting. You can destroy those parts that you love so much, or you can get something even better. <laughs> and so uh, it was a lot of fun. It, it's uh, getting those different techniques and adding to kind of an unconscious or becoming conscious and being involved in and developing certain kind of ways of manipulating paint in a really, so you look at like the freedom of Jackson Pollock with his huge paintings, right? And,
there's, there's a certain level of envy in that, but of how he just gets lost in, a, in the infinite. And, you know, you see that and those other artists just push you and they kind of go further, go further, open up, open up, ask more, give more pursue more, explore more, take more chances. Allow yourself to be free. Allow yourself to scream. Allow yourself to just whisper. Allow yourself to love. Give yourself permission to love what you're doing with every aspect of the complexity of who you are. And you know, malignant is, is all of that. It's a love for life. It's a passion for just a passion. And it's just passion on canvas. It's a love for life. It's, it's just a distillment and a wrestling it is a, a kiss of life and a kiss of death. You know, you look at the screen, you look at Edward March. And his work of how he went over and did things and how he said so much more by saying so much less. So in these paintings, I don't have eyes. The faces don't have eyeballs. I don't put actual eyes in them. I just put like the, the crevice of the eye, the eye socket. I feel that they're so s strong and intense that if I had eyeballs looking out, it would, it would be too much. And also the detail of that kind of seemed kind of finicky to me. And essentially, I wanted the viewer to be able to, to look and feel like they could walk in and be a voyeur and have a sense of voyeurism into the painting. So, you know, like you're watching a screen or you're watching a neighbor or you're kind of uh, being a bystander, like a pervert, watching an accident of a car accident slowing down. I didn't want the intensity of the painting to look at you and um, and to threaten you in some way. I didn't. I wanted it to be a door where you could walk through, and I didn't want something staring at you back. Is the reason why I didn't put. Uh, pupils in the faces and essentially their their portraits their existential self portraits of of contemplation of our existence and of of the fragile nature of life this one is kind of like a the butterfly or something that feels like there's just this gentleness about it, but yet this violence of it. And it feels like a, a butterfly kind of approaching a flamethrower. <laughs> there's a bit of a, a heart carved out. And then the way that the paint is used is really thick. I use a lot of paint. Um, I, I want the paint to feel like flesh or like I want it to feel as thick as a muscle. I want you to feel like you can bite into it, like you're biting into a lover. I want you to feel like you're like a lion eating an animal in the, in the Sahara where you just, just, and you just run and chase it down 
and that primal instinct of survival of watching the discovery channel where that that cheetah just goes after you know and just jumps on the back and eats and bites and tears down its its prey and and in that moment i just allow myself to do that i allow myself to embrace that i don't shy away from it but i just take that energy and that inspiration or that feeling that i have inside and i just i just love it <laughs> i don't know how else to put it fuck it i love it i it's to to go over you know i got a choice i can either get sad or or angry or or I can get all of them I can feel all the complexities all at once and just eat it chew it digest it and shit it out and just